for someone that wants to take a fantastic idea and scale and grow it, and they've never done that before, and they're kind of stuck at the 15, 20 size um, kind of team, and you've obviously done this in your previous companies, you've taken the 40 to 50, you've had offshore partners as well, uh, that I was very lucky to have some support with you for. How do you scale? How do you take on all these people? How do you um, find the time to manage all these people? Yeah, in, yeah. I think you know you you need to build up champions within the teams, you know, and you, you really start team by team, you know, and, and you expand that out, and you know you you draw other teams into that. So that's how we started, like was with pilot team, you know, and and this is how I started in other companies where they start with a pilot team, you know, implementing agile, and then try and evolve that to other teams and build momentum then and people see the value, you know, our customers are, are seeing the value, they're getting features fa far faster than they did before, you know, we're engaging with our customers a lot more, we're bringing them in to our app houses now globally, like, so if you think of first app house was in Ireland, we have over 13 app houses now wow. globally, every development lab within SAP is, is you know, set up as an app house. How do you, when you're scaling, not drop the quality of the hires? And you, you know, you're, you're, you're being very particular on the, the, the quality coming through, you want a certain type of skill set, mm -hmm. and from recruiting for you guys in the past, you want the best out there, which as a recruiter is a bit of a pain in the ass, because <laughs> you always want to get those mm -hmm. uh, best of the best. What is, the, what's the secret? Because it, it's so damn hard getting that type of level of candidates. Yeah, I think um, the important thing that we look for is obviously, you know, technical competency is one thing, you know, where the person can develop or test or, yeah. you know, and has, you know, the experience there. But you're also looking at the, at, at the softer skill side, you know, so, you know, are, are they a team player? Um, what, what's their communication skills like? Can, can they, you know, can they collaborate? You know, because when yeah. you come into a company like SAP, you know, it is a challenging environment, you know, and just because you have an idea or a way of doing things, you, you find that you have to actually get more people on board. And uh, one of the, I guess, greatest learnings for me here was, you know, the whole uh, area of influencing without authority. You know, right. How do you bring people around an idea and, you know, demonstrate, you know, this is the way to go. And, and, and part of it is like, you know, any agile transformation you go through, you have to win the mar minds and hearts of yeah. other people. How do you do that? Well, you, you know, you help them see, you know, how this can make the their make their job better. You know, you you show them the benefits, like in the business cases, like you know, there's a wide uh, evidence of knowledge out there around, you know, how ag agility can be. You know how agile implementations have worked for other companies. How do you stay like up that. to date with that, and and where what readings do you have that? Because I remember when you were doing this, it wasn't necessarily the it was just coming in, but you always seemed to be two or three steps ahead of it. Uh, how how did you did maintain that? Part of it is what you're doing here today is you you actually start trying it out. Yeah, you know, so hopefully that camera will, will be okay and my, my editing will be good. So yeah, try so, it out. You know, the, 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 the saying that uh, you, you try a test to fix it, right? Yeah. So you have to actually start, you have to Every dive good process. in, you know, and you know, the, there's a, as I say, there's a whole lot of information out there how to implement Agile and you start going down that road by, you know, practicing it, you know, and you learn through experience. And then you know you find that there's a community of people out there. There's other companies that have implemented. They're they're eager to work with you and share their information. You're changing the philosophy, right? So you're bringing this yeah. in. You're a leader, and you say, "Let's try it out. It could be good." Some people are kind of thinking, "Hold on a second. I know you're trying at one stage at a time, but what keeps you going to feel like I don't quite know which way this is going to go?" I think, you know, as a leader, you you know that you know in some cases it's the right thing to do um you know that other companies have tried this before and right and experience you know you know as a, as any company today you know you need to be more innovative you need to be more agile you know you need to be more creative um so i think you know part of it is this is a way a route to getting yeah. there um and you just stick with the course you be you know you you will get people who resist you will get yeah. people, you try and bring them on a journey and, and keep strong on that. I mean, and that's the important thing through any transformation is, you know, obviously you need to have good sponsorship, from, yeah. you know, within the company. Um, and then you stick to the course. I mean, the funny thing, I remember 
many years ago. Uh, we, I had a great sponsor, and you know when I implemented Agile. Tell before, me about that, actually. And um, you know, I, I, you know, you, you would could get a, a lot of resistance from people, and you know, he had said one day, like Mark didn't invent Agile, so you know, don't blame him for it. I mean, right. Okay. So, it's, so he was uh, backing you. He yeah, was, and, and you know, and and, and supportive. So it, it's trying to show people, like you know, how the world could be. Yeah. You know, and and when you you know, for me, I think it was a a pivotal time in my career because you know up to that point I, I saw you know requirements documents and technical architecture documents and noticed that like a lot of the development teams were spending most of their time documenting right uh, in word and yeah. not actually coding